Hi, I'm Sir Classy, and you're welcome to another tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're we'll looking at a mic modulator from Antares. They make the AutoTune plugin, the, the very famous AutoTune plugin. So this mic mod, mic modulator, or mic modeler, is 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 recently becoming more and more popular. Where you can um get a different tone out of your microphone to try and imitate a different type of microphone that you wish you had or you would like to have but maybe it's unavailable at the time or you just want to switch the flavor up a bit so this is a vocal recorded with um, a Behringer microphone a very very cheap microphone i'll see how like, if this plugin can actually make it sound better if it can actually make it sound more expensive than my cheap um, Behringer microphone but i'm using the Behringer c1 actually for these vocals but let's listen to it and see um any change i already I, this is post processing that is after i've done all my effects um i've added my denoiser eq reverb and everything so i have to see how it will sound um the effects after my processing if i can get a different model sound out of it so i'll turn it off first then i'll, I'll turn it on then we'll look at what we can do with this so let's listen to, let's so let's listen to the vocals with the mic modeler off who the modern acres, 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 who the modern who the modern what this basically does is this is the bypass mic so you to, you need to select maybe your source microphone so the closest microphone to the Behringer that i've used that i can reference would be the rode nt1a so i'll just pick the rode nt1 then the modeled mic out let, let's have let me be telling funken sound u47 there are so many microphones. There's the Audio Technica AT2020. You see the popular AT2020 sound. Different mics, even biodynamic. You can see the blue microphones. You can see the um, CAD microphones. You can see Neumann, even the U47. Let's use the Neumann U47 or U87. Let's use U47. So now I'm trying to model this microphone. So do you want cardioid or omni? So let's be let's leave we'll check it out and see between cardioid and omni, which is better. So this is proximity. How how far or how close are you to the mic? Are you very close or are you very far from the microphone? So let's say you are fairly let's say this is let's try it out here and see. And then how close are you to this microphone? Let's say you are very close also again to this microphone. So let's listen to let's so let's listen to it and see now. So let's turn it on and see now. So let me turn it off again. Ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better. Who the modern acres? So if you notice the U47 makes it sound more um like make it sound fuller and duller at the same time, but the regular bearing gas sound sounds brighter and thinner. So let's pick a different microphone. Let's pick maybe the the um Neumann U87. That is without now with it. So, so let's play with the proximity and see. Let's see what we can do about the proximity. And let's turn on turn on the low cuts and see. 
Who the modern acres? Who the modern acres? Who the modern acres? Then without it, let's see. Who the modern acres? Who the modern acres? Who the modern acres? You know, overall, I think I prefer the 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 mic modulator sound. Like it makes it sound um fuller and makes it sound um heavier. So there are so many microphones. You you can even add saturation to it. You know, when you are using a microphone like the Neumann or the Telephone Ken, or even if you are, even if you are using the Behringer, you know, you can connect it to a, a, a an amplifier, maybe a tube. A tube amplifier or a diode it could be a diode a triode a tube saturation they all have different characteristics they all sound different with the microphone so you can add some saturation to make it sound even more interesting let's see with the saturation and see how it sounds <laughs> You see how you see how it has that shine to it, that um sizzle to it and makes it sound a bit cleaner. So let's take it off and see how it sounds. So you see, without it, it doesn't have that shine, that shimmer to it like it does with the tube saturation um um effect. So yeah, so uh, I think this is a very good plugin, especially when you spend a lot of time, like spend some time around playing with the knobs here and there, trying to see maybe you can even I can even change um the mic. Uh, maybe the audio technique uh, maybe eighty twenty twenty can be a closer reference to the bearing as C one than the road NT one actually. I think the NT eighty twenty twenty is a closer reference. Maybe if I had picked, let's pick it and see. Let me turn it off. You can see you can see everything sounds better with the mic mod with the mic modeler on. So I think this, I've been using this for a lot of my mixes recently and it really make re really making my mix sound more and more interesting. So I totally recommend this um, mic model. Uh, especially if you have a cheap microphone or you or you have just one microphone and you like to change how it sounds. The mic model is surely a a a top um top choice to to easily to get that effect easily without um breaking the bank or without um having a convenience of going to pick up a new microphone. You can use it on the spot and test so many types of microphones from your studio. And it sounds really cool also. So I totally recommend it. And yeah, that's it for this episode. That's it for this tutorial. And I'll see you on the next episode of my tutorial. I remain so classy. Hit the subscribe button if this helped. I also hit the thumbs up button. And let me know what you think of this mic model. I know there are many others out there. I think Isotope also is working on theirs. And I know Isotope will surely kill it. Um, so many... Um, companies are working on their mic model also some even come with a microphone and the modeler plugin that even gives it a much more um a much more precise um sound a much more precise tone than this so there are many more um plugins out there are many more ways to get this done but this is a very easy and doesn't drag your pc also it's very light on your pc so this is a very easy and straightforward way to get it done and yeah so that's it for this tutorial see you on the next one cheers